Hi, everybody. I'm Jason Wu, live from New York, and I'm so happy to be introducing Ash. Um, and she and I will be introducing Jason Wu Beauty to you today. I'm really excited. Um, I've been wanting to do a beauty line for a very, very long time. And so I'm really excited to be working with Bespoke Beauty on the launch of Jason Wu Beauty. And I'm really excited that on Sunday, the 17th, we will be at 400 Target stores. So you can check jasonwubeauty.com for the store location nearest you. And um, also, all the products are available on jasonwubeauty.com. And we have a special friends and families until only until Sunday. So if you haven't taken advantage of that, please do. The friends and family code is FF50. And it's 50% off until Friday, our official launch this Sunday. So please do take advantage of the very special friends and family. So shall we get started? Um, so I wanted to introduce Ash, one of my favorite makeup artists, and I'm sure all of you know her already and her work. And Ash is going to be showing us a look. I'm going to hand it over to you, Ash. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited for this class. And thank you all for being here. So today's look is going to be really about just showing you a nice ethereal look that will elevate anyone's natural beauty. And I think that is exactly what Jason Wu Beauty Cosmetics embodies. So we want to do just that today. So I have my beautiful model Haley with me and we'll go ahead and get started. So I want you guys to follow along and you got a press kit with you so make sure to open that up grab these products out as we're working together and if you have any questions we'll definitely be answering those at the end so i'm going to go ahead and start off with my jason Wu beauty the bush brow shaper soap so i want to show you a really easy way to use this you need to activate it with some type of setting spray or water i actually have my Jason Wu Beauty Magic Spell Setting Spray right here. So I'm actually gonna use this a few ways. Um, at the end, I'll show you another way to use this. But for now, you wanna hold this very close to the product so you don't get it everywhere. Hold it really close. And then you wanna take a spoolie. So I'm just gonna take this one, it has a brush. Don't be afraid to really work this in. And it's gonna look a little bit white sometimes like on the brow hair, that's all right. So I'm just gonna take it and just start really working this into the brow hair. I'm pushing the hair up. As I push the hair up, you guys can see it starts to kind of just lift everything in this beautiful upward direction. So what this does is I feel like it makes the hair a lot thicker, it locks in the shape and it gives such a beautiful hold. So just really working that in until I don't see any more little white clear particles. Then you can even use this side of the brush to kind of push the hair in the direction that you want the edges to lay. I'm going to do the same thing Nash, on the other side. The, the most questions I've gotten is about the brow soap. Actually, most people don't really? know what, what it is. So this is really great that you show us how to use it. Um, Thank you. you, were, you were yeah, I feel like it's so good to see it. Do it, right? Say that again. You're were, you were mentioning not a lot of brands actually offer this product. No, I'm like, I'm, I feel like it's so new on the market and I love that brands are starting to use it, but there's not a lot of brands that show you how to use it. So I feel like it's all about just yeah. seeing it live in action so you can actually utilize it at home. And to be honest, it's one of my favorite products to use in my kit because it gives you that beautiful, bold, bushy brow that we're seeing everywhere. I feel like that look is not going anywhere anytime soon. And this is the perfect product yeah. to give you that bold, bushy look. If you ever get a little bit of too much product, take another spoolie, if you have another clean one, and just kind of brush it through. And you guys can see it gives you that beautiful laminated effect, and it just creates this waxy texture. So when I go in with a brow product to fill them in, it will lock it in and give it such a nice hold. So that's what I'm gonna do right now for the second step. So I've got my brow brush. I'm actually taking a clean spoolie at this point, just to make sure I don't keep building with that same soap. So now I'm going to be taking my Brows Before Boys product. This is a great product. I believe it's water resistant too. So it's really going to give you that all day yeah. wear and you can use it on the hairline as well. So we actually use just a little bit like throughout the hairline and it comes with 
three different shades and I believe there's another palette as well for different, you know, hair colors. So I love this one because we've got like your light tones to medium to this beautiful, like nice brown, like a soft brown tone. I'm just gonna tap I off think you're my using, excess. You're, you're using the Eddie, right? I'm using the Gosh. Eddie, yes. This is number one. Yeah. And the other one is the Gus. Gus is actually the name of my husband as well. So they're all named after people I know. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Makes it really personal. And it's so yeah, easy to use. I feel like me. it just glides on. Yeah. So I'm just following the natural shape of Haley's brows. She's got such a beautiful, bold, bushy brow already. But I just want to go in and kind of add a little bit more definition, starting in the arch and also the tail. And then as I work my way towards like the center and also the inner part of the brow, I like to use what's left over so you never have like a blocky looking eyebrow. We always want it to look feathered and soft and just very natural. So I really feel like that is the trick. Just kind of less is more when you get to like the inner part of the brow. And I'm just brushing as I go. So this part has, you know, she's got great density right here. So I'm just looking at the sparse areas and I'm basically just filling in those gaps and that will give you the most beautiful, effortless looking eyebrow. That's Using great. what's left it's over like as I get towards very there. Brooks, very Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields, always the inspiration, seriously. Always the inspiration, right? Life inspiration for Life brows. Life inspiration. And I feel like brows really do frame the face. I don't always start with the brows first. But I do feel like when you start with the brows, it creates this like frame for the face. It also gets it out of the way, kind of just get that done and the brows are set, ready to go. So then and we can Ash, move how do on to eyeshadow. We, how do you suggest we use this um, on the hairline? Some people like to use this as a hairline product. I'll show you really like quick too. Like a filler. Too. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a brush that's a little bit fluffier. You have to just do what works best for you. Maybe a blend, uh, an eyeshadow blending brush would be great too. I'm just gonna take this shade here, tap off the excess. I like to start further back in the hairline where it's more dense. And then that way it's a lot darker within the dense areas. And then as you get closer to the hairline, it's softer looking. You can make circular motions too, but because her hair is already styled, I just wanna kind of keep it in the direction that yeah. it's kind of laying already. So same thing over here, just like so. And then that just gives you that really nice natural look. You can't even tell that it's filled in and um, it just gets rid of all those sparse areas to give you a really and nice everybody, clean polished look. And I would love everybody to follow along. Um, we're gonna talk, I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see you at the, um, towards the end of this Zoom session. And, uh, and at the end, I'll be taking some question and uh, Q and A's. So I'd love to see you on your camera and uh, see what you've done with your Jason with Beauty. And I would love to see it too. If you guys could get on Instagram after the session is over, post a photo of you, tag me, tag Jason Wu Beauty. I wanna see it, I wanna repost it, and we wanna support all of your beautiful looks. And I'm just, you know, same thing on this side. Nobody's brows are ever going to be exactly the same. I feel like they're they're sisters. They're not twins. <laughs> so you might have to work a little bit more on one brow than the other. So always know that. I know. That. I feel like I need to be following up. I feel like right? I need to be Jason, following Jason, you need to get off your makeup right, kit. Mine. Get out those Jason Wolfie products. <laughs> 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 Thank you. And same thing over here. here. Just looking at those sparse areas. And you can always go back in, brush through it. It does get a little bit tacky and it might lay in the direction that you're filling it in. So brushing it through kind of like fluffs the brow back up. Perfect. And then just getting a little That's bit beautiful. more product, bringing this on the inner part right here and then brushing out any areas where you may have put a little bit too much product. Less is more always in the inner corner. And really with everything that you do with makeup, always starting with less because you can build. And I know you guys know that. We have so many pros with us today. And then I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow primer, which is so great to use. It's like a full coverage eyeshadow primer. It makes the eyeshadow so rich, so intense. 
And it's great if you have, you know, maybe darker pigmentation on the eyelid because it gives you like the perfect canvas. So you'd be using the Woo Prime Eye, right? I am, yes. And shade 03 for Haley's skin. So I've got it right here. So this is the eye primer if you guys want to grab this. I have a little palette next to me. I'm just going to put it on my palette right here. And I'm just taking like a synthetic haired duo fiber kind of brush. You could apply this with anything. You can even use your fingers too. I'll just have Haley look down. I'm gonna start along the lash line and just go back and forth with this. So most of the product is on the lid. As I work my way up to the crease, I'm just kind of using what's left over so I don't have so much underneath the brow hair. That way it looks really nice and blown out and it doesn't, I basically don't want that carved brow look. I just want it to look nice and soft really effortless looking. So a little goes a long way with this product because it is full coverage, which is great because if you have that darker pigmentation, you're gonna get a nice blank canvas. And just going with a clean brush right on top of that, just to soften up these edges so it looks seamless and blending it into the foundation right here too. And then same thing on the other side, just taking a little bit here on my palette, starting along the lash line and then going back and forth. And think about your questions, you guys. I really want you to think about it. We wanna make sure we answer everything at the end. So if anything comes up, write it down. I mean, and what I see, love about this you, question. Uh -huh. yeah. No, go Yeah, it's it. like, you know, we, we really try to make everything very light. You know, I think that's really the idea behind Jason Wu Beauty is that, you know, it's allowing um, people's beauty to shine through and not cover it. So I love the idea that there's such a light hand that you're using um, with the you. product. It looks really beautiful. Thank Her you, Her brow Jason. shape is giving me a little that. odd. I'm getting Audrey Hepburn a little bit from you. And right, from a little bit. Hayley's She's such eyebrows. beautiful yeah, it's eyebrows. A, it's a very... Yeah, she has like the perfect like that like angled, bushy brow. She does. That's a perfect that's another angle, forever a little bit life. straight. Yeah. So forever now news. I'm gonna go in with the so soft setting powder just to set it. So this actually has vitamin C in it and also rose hip oil, so it's very nourishing on the skin. I'm using a very sheer amount just to set it, bringing it right up to the brow bone, really lightly. And we'll also use this on the face as well, I'll show you many ways to use it. But I always set my eyeshadow primer with this as well. And you can even leave it under the brow hair to kind of leave like a brow highlight as well. And now moving on to one of my favorite parts, the eyeshadow. So I have this nine pan eyeshadow palette right here with me. So many different textures and tones, but I love all these products in this line because everything is so neutral and warm. So you really have something for everybody. And it really is like the most perfect tones to have in your makeup bag or in your makeup kit because this is all what we need to have as a makeup artist or just anybody, you know? You need to have those neutral tones because that's how you build on top of the looks. You have to start with those neutral transition shade, warm tones, just to elevate your natural beauty. So I'm gonna take the shade here at the bottom. This one right here, and you're using, using like a tapered blending brush. You're using the prickly pear, I think, right? You are. Yes. Floor of the floor. Yes. Right. I believe yep. so. And I'm just starting along the lash line and I'm basically making circular motions and I'm kind of blowing this out and creating like a V shape. So this is gonna be like our base layer. And for those of you guys that like follow me, you know I'm always using these tones. This is like my go-to. It's what makes my clients always feel the most beautiful is when we start with looks like this. So needless to say, I will be putting all of these products in my kit, seriously. And I know you guys will love the formula too. And let us know, like we wanna hear your feedback on this in the comment section. I love so hearing feedback all my on, focus on the line, here. yeah. Me too. Yeah, I, I, you know, I've been I've been testing them out on my friends. So like, it would be I can't wait to see Jason will beat it. I, I would say like out in the wild. <laughs> I would like to see everybody. You know, I, I love you know I love to see it in everybody's beauty queen, uh, beauty kit. I'm um that's like one of the most exciting things for me coming up. Hopefully, well, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> 
And this just makes such a beautiful, like neutral tone. It looks nice and bronzy and monochromatic just to go with the skin. And basically applying this on the lid, bringing it into the crease. So we're kind of just buffing this all over. As I get to the inner corner, I'm gonna take this lighter shade right here, tap off my excess always just to avoid getting any fallout. And I'm gonna start contouring the inner corner of her eyes just to make this look a little bit more sultry, but still soft at the same time. So I'm basically bringing it up into the brows and the nose contour a little bit. And it still looks soft, but at the same time, it just gives a little oomph to the makeup. Just adds a little bit extra. And I always have like a clean blending brush on hand just to soften up any edges. Same thing on this side, starting along the lash line, just kind of working this in. and then really just building up this color. Making pretty large oval circular motions. And I'm extending this in an upward, outward direction. And the eyeshadows are so rich and pigmented too. I feel like you really get like maximum coverage and color payoff from these eyeshadows. A little goes such a long way, so I'm trying not to use so much because I want this to look nice and soft. But there's so much to work with in this palette. I, I love just how love soft that you it have is. All the different tones. Thank you. And with the nose contour, um, it, it, you, you can see from the um, right to the left, it really makes a big difference. But it doesn't look like makeup, makeup, you know? Thank you. And I feel like that's always the goal. It's like we want to wear makeup to enhance our natural beauty, not to cover it up in any way, just to use it to really elevate our looks. I, I wanted to ask you, though, Jason, what was your inspiration behind? your line, like creating all these different, you know, products. How did you come about doing yeah. all of this? Well, I mean, you know, nude is one of my favorite colors. And, you know, when yes. I launched Jason Wu fragrance two years ago, um, we really started, uh, you know, it's packaged all nude. And the inspiration really comes from my love of 1950s. And 1950s mm. makeup products okay. are so amazing, you know? And it's like the they nude really, really came from this like 50s powder puff, like idea, the beauty products are so pretty, you know? And so the idea is to do that in a modern way. And we've expand, expanded the nude in every shade to the darker taupes, to the lighter shades. And so this is really a collection for everybody. And I love the idea that it's so feminine, it's really elevated. It's elevated, but the price point is not elevated. And this is actually right. the first that's time so there's a designer brand that's sold at the prestige level, which I'm really excited to be bringing because people like, you know, when I remember um, last week when we launched the website, everyone was texting me. It was like, I think there's a mistake in the price. I was like, no, 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 there's really? no mistake. It's like, yeah, they're like, like, I'm like, it's $12, you know? And right. I, it's a prestige think, makeup line, but without those prices that are crazy. Yeah. And I think, you know, and Ash, you know, I think you can speak to this is like, you know, sometimes the expensive products aren't always the best ones. You know, like, I mean, for, no, for my personal skincare, I always I always have a mix between like, you know, uh, drugstore brands to like, you know, niche brands. You know, it's it, I, I don't discriminate. I think it's always good to mix it up. And um, I love that I you agree. can get this really elevated look. And I love the packaging. I think it's so pretty, like the nudes and everything. It's I so especially love the brows. So beautiful. It looks so expensive. And the price point is amazing. You honestly yeah. nailed it. I feel like you you completely nailed Thank it. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm just excited to see it everywhere. And I want to show you guys this one more like trick on the eyes that I'm doing. So I'm taking this product here that I fell in love with. This is Lace and Grace. It's CL04. And this is the Celestial Oh, that one's Lust. really pretty. It's so gorgeous. So it's a cream eyeshadow. It's very wet when you first apply it and creamy, but it does set and it dries down and gives you this beautiful all day wear. I'm gonna take a blending brush and I've basically just applied it right in the center, right in the inner corner of her eyes. And I'm bringing it a, about midway. And I'm basically just kind of like blotting this in. I just wanna add a little bit of glow and shimmer in the inner corner. And I really, Love that. I really want um, full coverage right here. So I'm just gonna push it on and I'll probably just let that, let that sit and I'll barely blend it out. And then I want to give her a little bit of a wing liner. So I want to teach you guys some easy ways to like do a wing liner at home. I feel like I always get so many questions on how I do my eyeliner and like what's the best way to make it look, you know, effortless and easy and not take so much time on it. So I will, sh I want to show you guys how to do that with 
my new Jason Wu Beauty Eyeliner. I love a wing so, liner though. I think that's always my go-to, you know, like my go-to. It's like, it's just, it gives something, you know, something really chic and really elevated and uh, really feminine. That's why me and you hit it off. <laughs> we both love a wing liner. I Seriously, love I feel a wing like it liner. just it elevates any look. It kind of, you know, it creates this optical illusion on the eyes yeah. that kind of can completely change a woman's eye shape or anyone's eye shape. And um, it just, yeah, wh it's whenever so I stunning. get a chance to do, whenever I get a chance to do like makeup, I always make people do it on me. Like a major <laughs> wing liner moment. I love that. I know that's what I miss so I miss so much like dressing up and going out and especially Me like too. Halloween. It's when I usually like Halloween mm -hmm. I like to go in like full makeup and I like that's what I miss in twenty twenty. So hopefully twenty twenty one will bring us that opportunity. I hope so, too. I really do. Today was so fun for me because I'm wearing a Jason Wu Beauty outfit and I actually got to dress up today. I know. You look beautiful, though. Thank you. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to dress up, you guys. It's been sweatpants every day. <laughs> I'm wearing sweatshirts. Right? I should not talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. So I'm going to grab my eyeliner. And... Where is it at? Here we go. Okay. So you just want to shake this up a little bit right before. And I think it's easiest to use a puff of puff if you're applying this on someone else. I'm going to start off by just creating a line on both sides. And we want to make those level and balance first. But this is basically a classic eyeliner. It has a long wear. It is a nice jet black. So first, I'm gonna have Haley turn this way with your head down a little bit. And basically, I'm just gonna create a little line. Can you see open? Perfect. And then same thing right here. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna have her do is basically look down. So chin down for me. I'm gonna rest this right there. And I'm basically just gonna start bringing this in an inward direction. I like to hold my thumb here so that way if she blinks, I'll catch it. But I basically like my eyeliner to go from thick to thin. So that way it really opens up the eyes and it doesn't close the eyes off in any way. You make it look so easy. Oh, thank you. It definitely takes practice. It's like one of those things that like really I know, eyeliner time. is like a skill. It's like, it's a, it's a skill to get it really, really it well done. It takes time. Like it's definitely something like you have to be patient with. And I'm just gonna get a little bit more product as I go. So I'm gonna dip this back in. And just kind of darken this up a little bit. You just want to have a nice, steady hand. And I'm going to show you guys a way to like even them out. Can you see open? Okay, perfect. Can I see this makeup wipe really quick? So an easy way to just kind of fix and tweak your eyeliner is to take a micellar water on a, a cotton round or a makeup wipe, take a angled brush, pinch it, and you can basically kind of slice it off in any direction to like sharpen it up. And if you get a little bit on the lid, I got a little bit right here. Her eyelash kind of dipped into it, not to worry. Just take your makeup remover and clean that up a little bit. Just like that. And then you can always go back with the eyeshadow if you need to. And just go over that area. But I find that that's like such an easy way. You should never have to take anything off. You can always like tweak the eyeliner. Everything can always be fixed. I love how, how it really elongates her eyes, so it looks so beautiful. It really does. Like, it completely changes the shape. Look down for me. So I'm just going to go back over that area right here. 
I like to make sure that it's like nice and dark and sharp. Perfect. And then same thing on the other side, I'm gonna load this up again. Let me see open. Perfect. And I'm gonna keep this really close to her lash line. Holding my thumb on her lid so that way if she blinks, I'll catch it. Can you see open? So little by little, you just wanna kind of darken it up. Maybe I'm not talking that much brush. because I'm like, I'm like watching very, I love watching <laughs> makeup tutorials. Can you see, look at me. Perfect. And I'm just kind of adding more in the areas that I need to. So I just added a little bit more on top and just really have to take it slow. And guys, I just want to make sure that you are thinking of questions in um, in a little bit. We'll be taking some Q&As, so love to hear from you. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you that trick one more time with the white. Pinch it and then go right underneath. And this basically just like sharpens it up. And I feel like everybody needs to know this trick so we can always have sharp one. wings. Thank you. And I always step back and like look at her from different directions and see what we need to do. But nice. I also want to move on. I want to show you guys a few more tips. And you can take a clean brush and anywhere that you kind of removed any of the foundation, just blend it out. Perfect. So I want to move on to blush. So this is one of my favorite products to use. This is part of the Hot Fluff collection. There are so many shades from this collection. And it is an a lipstick tube. I love this product. Tube. It's honestly like this is one of my favorite products that you created because you can use so this pretty. on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand using my own body heat. It has this beautiful fluffy pillowy type of texture to it. And it's perfect to just keep in your purse and like, you know, touch up your eyes with it. If you have it in the on your eyelids, put a little bit on the cheeks, press it into the lips. I'm gonna take um, take this and apply it with like a, kind of like a tapered blending brush for the cheeks, just like so. And I'm gonna have you smile for me. So having her smile, that way I'm able to apply it right there on the apples of the mm -hmm. cheeks. Look up for me. If she looks up, I can get right underneath these lower lashes to lift the blush in an upward direction. And the shade that I'm using is apple pie, obsessed with this color. I'm also gonna use it on the lips as well, just to kind of keep it very monochromatic. And I'm also gonna take another clean brush and I always like to etch around this area here just to make sure it looks nice and airbrushed. So beautiful. I even take the blush and I kind of tap it into the hairline a little bit just to add a little more warmth on the nose a little bit. Just makes the skin look so sun-kissed and beautiful. And this just added like that color that was missing on the face. I feel like we just needed something to kind of make the skin a little, a little bit more vibrant. And this did just that. I'm gonna load it up on my hand again too. This is like a great Smell product for, for like, if you only have five minutes to get ready, this is a great product oh, to have. it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. This is so great to have in your purse. Look up for me. I know, now I'm like, I'm not leaving the house without this because it just makes getting ready yeah. so easy and fast. And the fact that you can use it on your eyes as well is amazing. Who has time these days, seriously? I know, nobody has time. Especially nobody with has the time. back-to-back -back Zooms and phone calls and all of that, you know? So and all it's that, like, yeah. Seriously. So beautiful. 
So really curious to know what you guys think. Let us know. Look up again. And then add a little bit more. Now I wanna go in and add some on the lips too. So I'm gonna start by just kind of like shading her lips first, working with her natural lip shape. And I'm gonna rest this puff right here. And then we're gonna go in with some setting powder too. But I always like to kind of, I skip around. I, I need to see the makeup like evolve. I love putting a lip on because I feel like a lip completely transforms the face. It yeah. transforms the makeup and it just really elevates it. It takes it to a different place. So the lip liner that I'm using is 05. It's called Leave Me Alone. And these lip liners <laughs> are so creamy and smooth. Um, they just stay these. on all day. Stay in line. They're also and, so hydrating. Um, so Ash, do you, um, I, I learned this trick. I wanted to know what you thought. Um, do you know Miss Fame? Yes, love. So she Obsessed. she did like makeup on me and she uh, uh, a couple of years ago and a trick she 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 um used was she painted the ent my entire lips um with a liner for a uh, lip liner first and and then applied lipstick on. Um, it's my favorite. And it thing really to do. stayed on all yeah, it really stays on all night. And I'm not it, used it, to wearing lipstick. It makes so, it like you know? <laughs> It makes it like bulletproof. That is a bulletproof lip. That lip is going nowhere. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now too. I feel like when I'm working with like my celebrity clientele, they're, you know, they're performing or they're like filming. They need their makeup to stay on yeah. all day. So these little tricks really help my clients because I'm not always there to touch them up. I have to get to the next job. So knowing that like yeah. I can just shade in their whole entire lip and then top it off with a lipstick, then throw a gloss on top. It's not going anywhere. It's not gonna budge. And it helps when like the lip liner doesn't crack throughout the day. Like this one, it has that all day wear, but it's really smooth on the lips too. And we have like the cutest pencil sharpener. It's a sharp, sharpener that's like a three in one that's available with the collection as well. That's um, perfect for this. So going in with the same exact shade, Gonna be using my apple pie. I'm just gonna take it and go directly on the lips with it, and then I'll blend it out with a brush. You can also pat this in with your fingers too for a more like soft, kind of like watercolor look on the lips. Just depends on like what look you're going for. But I just love that it's neutral, it has a little bit of warmth to yeah. it. So it gives a little color on the lips, gives a little color on the cheeks. And um, it's just nice and natural. And you know, it just makes you feel good to have those tones on your face. These are always like my favorite tones to wear. And when you put the lipstick on, let me know what you guys think. I feel like it feels very pillowy on the lips. Like it feels really soft, such a beautiful texture to it. And I'm really big on the way things feel and what the wear is like. Close to me, nice. So gorgeous. <laughs> and I want to get closer to me. I'm actually going to just kind of take off a little bit on the edges here. And I want to set her skin just in the areas where we need to mattify. So I usually like to just set like the T-zone and I'll leave the sides a little bit more soft and skin-like. Beautiful. So for that, I'm gonna go back to my So Soft setting powder. And it has, again, it has vitamin C in it, which is great for the skin. It also has the rosehip oil, so really nourishing. And I'm just gonna take this with a more tapered brush, nothing too fluffy, that way I can be a little bit more precise. And I'm just gonna start tapping this on the forehead. I'm also gonna bring this on the sides of the nose where the nasal, nasal labial folds are. That way it's nice and matte in that area. And I'm gonna have you roll your lip down for me like that. That's perfect. I always like to kind of mattify this area right here. Okay, you can relax, that's perfect. And kind of bring this into the inner part of the blush just to soften everything. It makes it look more like airbrushed and smooth. And then I think we should add some more glow back into the face too. I've got this amazing opal stick that I want to share with you guys. 
And if you get more oily throughout the day, this is a great product to use, put it anywhere just to, you know, get rid of any of those like excess oils. So if you're more oily, I would definitely bring this around like the sides of the cheeks here to mattify. And I'm gonna use my opal stick. Okay. So this opal stick is really cool. It has this like nice iridescence to it, yeah. like kind of has a tint of blue to it. I'm just gonna take it and put it on the back of my hands. Look at that, like that texture is so cool. So this adds like a really fun element, you know, to the makeup. I'm gonna use and a- And Ash, what is the face sponge. primer you used? What is the face primer um, you used? The face primer that I use, let me see. I don't know if I have it in front of me actually, but I used it before I did the makeup. Um, do you guys wanna grab a face primer for me? There might be one in that bag over there. I wanna show it to you guys. We just don't have it out right here just cause it wasn't a part of the look on camera, but it was off camera. So we'll <laughs> grab it. While she's doing that, I wanna show you something though. So I am just kind of building this up, warming it on my hand. Take a sponge. I'm gonna pinch it and make it a little bit more narrow. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna like push this into the tops of her cheeks. And that's gonna bring back this beautiful like opalescent glow. Look up for me and the light will reflect off this so nicely. You can also bring this on top of the contour and like the blush just a little bit. I'm gonna load it up and add a little bit more and also bring it on the sides of the face here too. So that way it's like the on way the sides of the temples. The way it picks up light, it's really beautiful, this one. It's really stunning, oh, it's gorgeous. You have the primer, perfect. Okay, so this is the primer right here. Just wanted to show it to you guys. So I used this earlier today when I was prepping her makeup and it feels so smooth on the face. It's so, so creamy it's, it's so and soft. it just mattifies. Yes, this is the So Soft Primer and it kind of just like melts into the face, gets rid of all the pores, mattifies the skin. That's why she has like this beautiful matte look in the center of her face. And the undertone is so nice too. I feel like it's neutralizing on the skin. Yeah. Has a bit of color to it. So same thing on the other side, melting this into my hand. I'm pinching it, so I'm holding it quite narrow so it's not completely expanded. And I'm just really pushing this on the tops of the cheeks. Bringing that into the contour a bit. I also wanna take a little bit of eyeshadow and put it right underneath her eyes too. So I'm gonna take this shade here, the top left corner and I'm gonna use a more detailed looking brush. I'm gonna have her look up for me. And I'm just gonna get right underneath those lashes just to give a little definition under the lash. Making sure there's no gaps in between the hairs and then just blending it down. Up for me, perfect. It and really brings out her eyes. Side. It really does. She has such beautiful eyes too, and I feel like it adds some warmth, like right underneath the lashes, and it makes your actual eye color pop a little bit. And anytime you're taking a powder eyeshadow and putting it underneath the lashes, it also sets the under eye area a little bit too. Look up for me. And then I'm gonna go back with my So Soft powder with a blending brush. And I'm just gonna knock off any of that fallout. There was just a small bit and you can always go back with your translucent powder and kind of blend that off. And you can always use it around the corners of the nose just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. I feel like this is also very blurring on the skin too. So good. So it's 1044. I feel like this is a perfect time to do the Q and A. Let me know if there's any other yeah. products before we dive into that, that you wanna share. But I feel like this definitely completes our natural, you know, beautiful. And 
type of look today. And for those of you who have questions, please raise your hand, not physically, but on Zoom, <laughs> so we can see you and answer your questions. And Ash, do you, um, I have a question. Do you, do, would you like finish with oh, one of the primers? Yeah. Or, I mean, well, okay. I'm so sprays. glad you mentioned that because I wanted to show a few different ways to use this. So really quick guys, let's go in with the Get Your Magic Spell Setting Spray. So this actually has rose water in it and also vitamin C. So it's great for the skin, really nourishing. This actually keeps the skin nice and matte, but you can also use it to kind of spray your brush to wear some of those like shimmery eyeshadows a little bit more wet. You can use it to set the makeup. So I'm gonna show you, you can spray it in a T. You can also spray it in an X. Um, just kind of depends like what works best for you. But sometimes I just kind of like to, I'm gonna show you. So. I like to go in and like make the skin nice and moist with it because I feel like it just kind of melts it into the skin. I don't mind if it gets on the eyeshadow. It actually makes it look more creamy, more buttery, makes everything one. So it makes the skin look and feel like skin, but it also keeps it matte throughout the day. So definitely top this off, you know, while you guys are finishing up your makeup with the setting spray. I love it. I love it. I love the feeling of a setting spray though. It's like it feels so refreshing. Like always, like, it really does. It just feels like complete. And I always have this Mr. Wu. <laughs> Mr. Wu. No pun intended. But this is good for throughout the day <laughs> as well. This is really great. It has two different um two different scents. One's a jasmine and one's a rose. And I think it's a just a really good um especially on the beach. It's great. It's very refreshing. Uh, okay, I need this one. You guys gotta send me this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have this one. We need to send you I don't have that one. Yeah, I'll have Mr. to get that one. It looks so pretty. I love the packaging too. And I love this, Safe by the Patch. That's another good one. That's These really are good, especially um, during our mask wearing days. Everybody has like a lot of acne. So this is really good. I swear good by that. these patches. I particularly so. love these patches because, like, after you, we all mess with our acne on our face, let's be honest. After you pop yeah. it, put the like clean yeah. the surface, put this on, sleep with it while it's on at night, wake up in the morning, you take that baby off, it's like flat. So when you go to put your makeup on, it's nice and smooth. I feel like it just like completely gets rid of like that elevated texture that we see sometimes on our face from yeah. acne. We so don't need you that. You guys will love those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And what 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 are some of your favorite products from the collection, Ash? Hot fluff is like my number one. Personally, love yeah, it. Love the texture, one as well. all the tones. Hot fluff is amazing. Um, I'm obsessed with the eyeshadows. I feel like I'm an eyeshadow person. Like I love creating yeah. different looks on the eyes, and I love like those neutral tones to start with. And I feel like you have so many eyeshadow palettes in your range, and there really is like yeah. something for all skin tones, and that's very important to me because I work with all different ethnicities. So I would have to go with hot yeah. fluff the eyeshadows and hmm. I'm also loving the the opal stick. It's it's really beautiful. I the feel like when you fun. first look at it, you might not think to put that on your face, but as soon as you put it on, like it makes sense. It actually like it adds yeah, no. like this edge to the makeup look. It makes it look really cool. Yeah, we don't really see it, but it's it's adding a it's there. great effect. You know, it's just it's there. Yeah. And it's it's a little it's bit there. goes a long way. A little it bit. does, and, and the really light nice. really like reflects yeah. off of it so nicely. And I personally yeah. love cream products. Cream products just yeah. melt into the skin and it makes it look more like skin. So yeah. definitely the opal stick too, so. Any questions? I, guys, I, I don't know if I can really see anyone. Okay, let's see. Okay, Shima, is it Shima? Yes. Did I, am I pronouncing it right? Yes, Shema. Hi. That's fine. It's spelled. Uh, we can't hear uh, you. We'll need hi. you to um, Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so my question, thank you guys so much for doing this. The products are amazing. But my question is particularly for the brows, how you did that. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, how you did the feathered look. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Ash? Yes. Yeah. Okay, say that one more time. My volume wasn't working. Oh, no worries. Um, how, so my hair, my eyebrow hairs are really stubborn. And every single time I try to do the feathered look, it ends up getting very blocky. So do you have any tips on how to make it more feathery if your hairs are really stubborn? 
So definitely go in and start off with the soap that we used. So you're gonna love like the Bush Brow Soap. Use this the exact way that I showed you guys in this tutorial. I have a lot of clients with like unruly hair texture, also hair texture that's really straight and wants to lay down. And um, using this, it really helps to like lift the brows up and don't be afraid to use a lot of it, to be honest with you. Like I go in there and I make sure that it's like really coated, coat every single hair with it. And then less is more when it comes to creating those like strokes of hair and like constantly brushing it through. So using that eyeshadow to like go and make those feathered strokes, I feel like it makes it look a lot more soft and more wearable and not so blocky when you use an eyeshadow. And what's great about the palette is that it has three different shades to work with. So you might wanna go in with like the middle shade in the inner part of your brow, and that will really help to like keep it really soft and give it that nice like ombre gradient type of look. And then using like the darker shade, maybe like midway and also into the tail. Then once you've done that, go in for a second coat with the soap at the end to lock it in. Sometimes it takes like multiple coats. I feel like on my clients that are like, um, you know, just a little bit more on the like the straighter brow hair side or have like the unruly type of hair, we're not afraid to use product. So definitely give that a go. Let me know what you think. Slide into my DMs. Thank and, you uh, so much. Yeah, let me know if you ever have any more questions. Thank you. Amina. Hi. Hi, it's Amina. Amina. Amina, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I, knew, I knew I got it wrong. No, no, don't worry about it. Um, Hi, I, first of all, um, this was such a fun tutorial. I'm looking Thank at the you. screen right now and I'm like, whoa, I think I needed more blush on my mirror. It was like so intense, but camera's washing it out. Um, I wanted to ask um, Jason, when, like, I guess when you see like a lot of these new launches, um, it's yeah. kind of rare that you see a full range, like eyes, lips, cheeks. So what made you yeah. um, decide you want to go with the full eyes, lips, cheeks collection? Well, I think it's really important because, you know, um, for me, like the beauty look is always goes hand in hand with all my collections, you know, especially when it comes to a fashion show, you know, like the, the full look, you know, and uh, and I really want people to be able to create that full look using Jason Wu Beauty. So that's why we wanted to go in and create that full range, you know, so that it's um, it's something that, you know, can be recreated at home easily. And, you know, everything kind of works really well together and hand in hand. They're, um, you know, they're, they're all, if you look at the whole range, it's really, you know, all the, all the shades are very neutral. So they don't feel disparate and they feel like, part of a collection, but they just work together so well. So I wanted to do that. And, uh, and, 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 you know, I think, um, it was just really fun. And when, you know, I've been wanting to do beauty for years and when I got the chance, there was no way I'm not going to do all three. Yeah. Got you. All right. Raha. Okay. I got some challenging names here. <laughs> you said Hi. that perfectly. Hi, did you I? did a great job. No one ever gets it right the first time. Um, I know, other okay, than, I'm getting some very challenging names today. <laughs> Hi. Um, other than Ash, can you move in with me? Um, I have a question about <laughs> the, the lips. Um, so yeah. when I'm putting on lipstick, I either get a weird, like, straight shape, and then, or it's too round. Do you have tips on how to make this upper part of the lip? Because you yes. just did it so well. And yes. that product, that's all you need in your whole life, in your purse, till you die. Yeah, um, absolutely. What are your tips for getting so this to I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like fake show you right now, but I want you to practice this later um, because it really does help. And I have a lot of tips on this on my YouTube channel, um, which there's always a link in my bio for. But basically you would take this lip liner and a lot of the times, like if you don't, if not everybody has a beautiful lip shape like Haley. And um, what you wanna do is put all your focus in the center. So I would take my lip liner and I would basically accentuate this Cupid's bow. I would go a little bit higher on the Cupid's bow, but still keeping that V and then rounding it out. Basically overdrawing directly in this center area right here and then slightly on the edges here, but then keeping it nice and tapered in the inner corners. And then same thing on that bottom lip. 
creating a line going a little bit um, overdrawn underneath the um, lower lip. It just creates this fullness and this it makes it a bit powdier in the center of the lips. And it just really creates this optical illusion. So it makes the lips look fuller, but without it um, looking too overdrawn. And it basically just tricks the eye in a beautiful way. So definitely practice to create a fuller lip just in the center. Make that Cupid's bow a little bit more um, pronounced and um, still keep that V shape right here, but I would basically go higher and cheat the lip. And I okay. find that that really helps. But definitely like check out my YouTube videos because sometimes you gotta see it in action too. And I totally get that. Thank you. And the next question from Sid. CYD, Sid, right? Sydney from E! News. Hi. Hi. Um, thank you so much. My products didn't arrive on time. I think like one of my neighbors stole them. Oh, so yeah. I'll definitely follow oh, up no. on that. We we'll have to get it back to you. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. But I was just wondering how you um, feel your products stand out from com in comparison to other celebrity brands. I know that that's always kind of been, you know, there's been some controversy <laughs> lately. I'm not going to name anybody, but, you know, how would you yeah, well, say I mean your products stand out? I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't consider myself a celebrity, first of all. I'm just a fashion designer. So, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the behind the scene person, right? So for me, you know, I've always come from the angle of, you know, um, usability. You know, it's not just about, you know, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not, I, I you know, I, I, I'm public, but I, you know, I'm really like most of my work is done behind behind the scene, you know, and especially in fashion shows, I'm, I'm the one like busy running back and forth and, you know, steaming clothes. So, you know, um, for me, it's like, you know, it comes from experience um, of working with amazing makeup artists such as Ash, um, you know, just working with a lot of people behind the scenes to create the beauty looks. And I think that's really coming from, you know, my years of experience and like knowing what I want and knowing what I think is important. And so it's not a very flashy collection for that matter. You know, it's really a collection that's very natural looking. It's not really like in your face, but I think it's, you know, it's um, how neutral it is. I think is really gonna be standing out, especially at this mastige price point where everything seems to be black and white, you know? Having this all shades of nude idea will really stand out, I think, um, when it hits stores in two days, three days. Ah, congrats. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, I got, Av I got Avro. Hey, how are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, Hi. I'm in the same position as Sid, um, in that my my products didn't arrive on time. But oh, no. uh, whenever, I, whenever I'm covering um, a Jason Wu fashion show, and I've seen many, I always think Thank of you. your look. And you know we know each other well. So every time yes. I look at your face, your your beauty face on the runway, I always think yeah. of that signature red lip. Yeah. You always have well, fabulous, just perfect I do red love lips. That. So is that going to be part of your collection too? Well, it's something we're working on. So without I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying, but that's clearly we're definitely it's it's uh it's coming up next so we want to introduce the collection first with all the neutrals and then we're going to build on the collection we're always developing and uh you know we're always staying busy so there's already a full next range coming up so stay tuned well you brought a beautiful collection i can't wait to try it thank you and let us know if you didn't receive it um uh, uh we'll make sure to get it to you so i got tanya hi tanya Hi, Jason, and I've also had the pleasure Hi. of not just seeing the fashion shows, but seeing a fashion show during a pandemic, which was just geniusly executed. Um, Thank you. But when it comes to the beauty collection, I know Ash mentioned some key ingredients like rose water um, and rosehip oil, yeah. vitamin C. Are there other ingredients worth noting? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you know, the whole collection is um paraben free and it's uh it's all natural so that's very very important and you know the reason i wanted to tell you that you know the rose and you know um when it comes to mr Wu, the other scent is um the ingredients the jasmine those are two of my favorite mm -hmm. um flowers that i work with and uh i think they have like just such a great smell and 
not not too in your face, you know. Mm-hmm. And they're both nourishing and really just you know, um, just give you that subtle hint, you know, that you need. So I think um, you know my fragrances are created behind one one behind the rose and one behind the jasmine. So I've done just that as well. If Jason will give me. Thank you, Ariani. Hi. Hi. I'm from Hello. California, Palm Springs. Hi. Hello. Hi. So. Oh, we can't. We can't really hear you. Oh no! I don't think you're breaking up. Is it possible for her to type the question? Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Um, can you can you type the question, Oriani? I don't know if she hears me because we Oriani, can't really hear you. If you can you. hear us, type the question so we can answer it for you. Okay, is Jennifer, uh, let's move on really quickly while we figure this out. Um, hi, Jennifer. We have Jennifer. Hi. 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 Um, so first off, I love the collection. I have everything on right now. You can't really see because my camera is not the best. But um, I do have a question. So you did say that a bit of 1950s inspiration came into this. I wanted to know what other yeah. kind of um beauty inspirations you've had for this line and for any of the other collections coming up soon too yeah i mean i think it's always you know i mean you know I, i'm known for really feminine a very feminine aesthetic so you know my, my inspiration is always going to come from a, a lot of my inspiration come from florals actually that they they um play such a big part in what i do you know um my shows are known to have always like a, a really interesting floral um, for, uh, floral sets and I think a, a lot of the inspiration come from them you know I think they come in so many beautiful colors and I think nature and it's it's one of nature's best inspiration you know it's like there's so many varieties of flowers and I'm always using them as either ingredients or inspiration for coloration or you know um, you know I actually like fruits and also like I, I love like fruits fruity things too so I think I, I get a lot of inspiration just from you know, from nature, really. I think that's really important. And uh, as somebody mentioned earlier, you know, we're um, we are uh, working on a red lip collection. That's something that's I'm really excited about coming up as well. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Gina. We have Gina. Hi, Gina. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, we're not hearing Gina. Tech help, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, we can't hear Gina. Well, that was the last question. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And thank you, Ash. And thank you, Haley. Thank you for having me. For, for just being gorgeous. And uh, I'm really excited about the launch. Um, please tag Jason Wu and Jason Wu Beauty. Um, when you use your products, we'll be, be sure to repost. And uh, I can't wait for everybody to be posting their own beauty looks. I can't wait to see. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. I hope you uh, enjoyed this look. And guys, guys, at Target and Target.com and JasonWillBeauty.com started. Well, JasonWillBeauty.com is live, but Target and Target.com will be live this Sunday. So be sure to look out for it. Bye.